Hey guys, it's Bastion time. Welcome to this episode of Nintendo News. I'm your host, Bastion. Let's get to that first story. Gamefly, uh, who's a video game rental sort of service, as you well know, um, recently listed Animal Crossing New Leaf for the Wii U. Now, as far as we know, it's not coming out for the Wii U. It's a 3DS game, so I'm not sure what the heck was going on there. Probably just an accident. Here's a brief bit of weird Nintendo trivia for you. Uh, at its time of release, the Game Boy had uh, an attachment that you could buy for it, an accessory that was a digital camera, and at the time of its release, that happened to be the smallest digital camera you could buy anywhere. So Nintendo was very innovative back then, uh, setting a precedent for small digital cameras. Speaking of Nintendo accessories, yes, Another company is releasing a Wii U gamepad tripod. I just don't understand why you would need something like this ever. It doesn't make sense to me that one company would think to create something like this, but now a second one? Don't know. We just learned some interesting news this past week about the Wii Virtual Console games in the Wii U's Wii mode. It's very convoluted and somewhat confusing. Basically, the save file that you've created for your Wii game back on your Wii, you can use in the Wii mode on your Wii U, but if you're trying to use that same save file on Wii U's specific virtual console, it's not gonna work. Um, so you'll have to have two different save files if you wanna use the Wii U's special services like um, playing completely on the gamepad and so on. Kind of unfortunate, but uh, I can see why there's like a division. It's like the Wii U is emulating the Wii's virtual console thing, and so it can't really use that same save data over on its own virtual console, I guess. So that's it for this episode of Nintendo News. See you tomorrow for Zelda News. Bye!